All right, we're going to talk about, you know, jump-starting your downtown, um, things that you need to do right off the get-go to start things going because um, not, a lot of times projects like the one behind me, this mixed juice project that we have going on in the West End and Sand City, they don't just happen. So a lot of times there's things that are stopping those projects from happening and a lot of times it's your parking regulations or even your zoning regulations. Um, so what I would encourage people to do is look at those first. Um, look at your parking regulations. Are, are you trying to enforce suburban parking regulations in your downtown? A lot of times that's a major thing that is really stopping people. Um, and also look at your zoning requirements. If you're in a downtown or a warehouse area where traditionally the built pattern is built from edge to edge of the property line, then you can't enforce suburban parking and expect those buildings to redevelop themselves or to get new projects like this mixed use project here, which obviously is built from property line to property line. In a good downtown with good urban form, that's what you want. So you need to really look at your parking regulations and I would tell you almost just dump them completely. So if you already have a strong urban environment or warehouse district like we have, I would say just dump those parking requirements Look at uh, other opportunities, whether it's a uh, parking in lieu fee where the developer, say if this, knows that they need 15 spots, but they, they can't provide them. Well, you obviously want this project, so allow them to pay, you know, whatever it is, $10,000 a spot that goes to the parking fund. And then that allows the city or the redevelopment agency long term to, you know, purchase a property to build structured parking or off-site parking somewhere else that's within you know, a short walk to these projects. Um, the other thing, you know, to get a project like this, uh, you know, a lot of times you have you know, zoning code requirements that say you have to have a 10 foot setback or a five foot setback. That's just a waste of space for the developer. It's a waste of space for the community unless you have the ability to uh, you know, widen your sidewalks or provide a nice uh, public space. But I would tell you, to make it as lenient as possible in order to allow these type of projects to happen. Um, you know, are they gonna cause a long-term parking problem? Yeah, but a parking problem is good because that means you have a bunch of people. And right now, and a lot of times when you're first starting out, you know, you don't have a lot of people or a lot of foot traffic, but people wanna harp about parking. And, you know, I would challenge you to list your top five cities that you love and then list the top five cities that you love because they have amazing parking. Nobody's going to a downtown because that's amazing parking. So don't start with parking as your solution to your downtown. Look at your regulations that you have that maybe are stopping development and loosen those developments, loosen those development codes up.